Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, of course. And today we're going to do a video of my fall essentials. So this video is going to show you like what I like to wear during the fall. Maybe it can give you some inspiration because I take inspiration from people all of the time. And basically the things that I'm going to be showing are the things that carry me through the fall into the winter season. A lot of them are lifetime pieces meaning pieces that carry you from year to year to year and you can keep them as long as they're serving their purpose for you the first thing we're going to talk about is this three-piece outfit i have on this is a top another top and a bottom fun fact this bottom and the top this one came together this is a totally different top from a totally different brand but it just goes so well with this outfit i love matching sets whether they're three pieces two pieces four pieces i love to travel in matching sets anytime i'm in the car or catching a plane i'm going to be in a matching set so i even have a drawer dedicated to my matching sets so i'm going to take the first piece off and it turns into this cute little two-piece I just live for how soft it is. I most of my two pieces are like nice patterns and prints. This would be really cute. This a long jacket pockets. It's like a khaki color, so it's kind of like a neutral, so it matches it kind of well. Very casual outfit. If I had to step out, I can put on some boots. This is something that I would wear like on a casual date. I love the way it makes my body feel. <laughs> I'm not sure how it makes the body look. My next staples are plain black long sleeve. Some of them are V-neck, some of them are crew neck, some of them come all the way across. I have different colors, mainly neutral colors because I love to put these with anything, jeans, skirts, blazers and i also love a crop for my high-waisted moments and my skirt moments and things of that nature i get hot so i don't really layer because i'm always hot i'm always running hot i'm always sweating especially my back honey so like i don't need to really layer because once i get into the building i'm taking those things off okay because once i get out of the cold i start flashing my wig big my makeup is on like I don't need all that extra stuff on me. So nice little thin um, shirts and long sleeves to help get through those chilly days outside. And they're great transition pieces for going inside because who's gonna sit with that jacket on the whole time? You love the skirt? You love the skirt? You love the skirt? pump into where I'm going. I would not wear it with this top even though I think the top looks good with it but this is not the vibe I go for when I wear a little skirt. A lot of times I take this because it is a size too small and I'll ruch it just so I can have my food pot and things of that nature. You see how it looks ruched and it also looks a little bit more badass when it's a little more shorter. It looks a little more rock and roll. See, I put this leather jacket on, but of course they're not the same like shininess and fabric. The jacket is a little bit more gray, a little bit more edgy, more rock and roll, where the skirt is a little bit more glam rock and roll, you know what I mean? Like this is more masculine and it kind of clashes with the leather of the skirt, but I tried. I try to make something happen. <laughs> the next thing that we're going to talk about is sweaters. First, we're going to start off with this sweater. It has like the very dramatic shoulders. I love a square neck. Um, I think my breast looks the best in a square neck. And this is like a very ruchy. It's not that stretchy in the arms, but it's kind of stretchy. It's more stretchy in the body. And it just gives you the ethereal, very much queen-like feel. And I love the texture on it. That's something that I'm starting to get into, like buying clothes that have texture. We don't always need patterns, sometimes we just need texture. With this black skirt, it's really cute. And if I had to style this, I would wear my um, Steve Madden loafers with it. And maybe my Birkin or my um, Fendi Montresor. I wanted to save this, but I guess I can go ahead and show it. 
Like this is a staple for me. Like this. Like this, this white trench coat with the zebra inside, very Corolla DeVille. I live for this. This is a perfect way to style all black. You can you get that very dramatic, very sleek. It's very elegant at the same time. Two don't buy. Two, you don't have to wear a trench only in the rain. You can wear a trench whenever you decide to wear a trench, darling. I already have like the same size torso and the same size legs. So I kind of have to try to make my torso look shorter and my legs look longer. So that's why I got the damn skirt pulled halfway up my belly. You can see my little pouch. <laughs> but I think this is so classic and so elegant. It can take me many different places. One thing you have to learn is how to find your color palette. I can look in my closet and I see a lot of different colors, a lot of different fabrics, but I think what I always naturally and organically go to is black things. So I'm trying to be a, a wardrobe, curate, I should say a wardrobe that's gonna be tailored to what I want to look like and what I feel most comfortable in. So I think a lot of the things that I have, I'm going to be doing a cyber sale or I'll show you the things that I have and they be on like my Poshmark or my Depop or something like that. I'll list those down below so you can go ahead and check out what I already have. I love this one. Um, it's like got mesh sleeving, kind of see-through sleeving, but it's like another panel here. So this is a sparkly black top. This is by Limited in this 100% nylon. And it's made right here in the USA. And I love wearing this with, um, I got a skirt that's kind of like this. I have some pants that are also kind of like this as well. So I love wearing those together. I like pairing this under a jacket to give a type of dramatic feel. It's a, a, a way that you can dress up things and you can also use this to dress down. I just feel like it's a beautiful, beautiful top. And I would never get rid of this. And the sparkles don't, um, they stay on. Even when I wash them, they stay on. And I've had this for a long time time i really love this this is a another type sweater cardigan type situation i thrifted this i love to wear all black like tights and a black tank and just put this over it with some nice boots it makes your wardrobe sometimes look a little bit eclectic it look like you shop places that other people don't shop it's very old school looking and i very much am in love with this have not worn this yet i just love how i can just throw it on and it'll automatically make me look more distinguished and it looks like I have more eclectic style than I do so this will be something that I would just let this do the talking I just um, recently purchased this Gucci sweater the um I think this is the Marmont multicolored sweater I love this it's a little bit itchy my BB fuchsia pink sweater i've had this for a long time it's one of my essentials i love wearing this with black jeans and some boots and maybe a black jacket has gold bb written on it and it's a size medium so it fits me kind of snugly this wouldn't be anything that i layer with this would be something that i would wear as a top period i love a knitwear it's like a vest i need to change shirts but i don't feel like it so I'm just gonna put it on top of it. And I love this for the ease of it. Now granted, it gives me no body. It gives me no shape. The body is left on its own devices with this. This gives you nothing. You see how it makes me look up and down? It gives absolutely nothing. You could clinch it with a belt or you could do something like that to give it more shape. But this is just something that you would wear. Like it's fashion, but it's also going to keep me warm. I have had this for years. I throw this on top of everything. I love that it has a exposed sleeve so that I can do some type of fashion under it. And then it has a high slit right here. So you really want to be able to wear it by itself. I usually wear this with jeans or like a dress. The next things I want to talk about are basically two are the same thing. These are two black dresses. This is a little bit lighter more washed out than this black this black is a lot longer this has shorter sleeves this have longer sleeves they have basically the same collar this one says super double line i love 
black dresses. I'm gonna show you how I style simple black column dresses. Here is the dress on. This is like something that I wear all fall, winter long. Sometimes I wear control space just to give me a little bit more suck in in the middle, honey, cause I ain't got the body yada yada that I want yet, honey. And it's so simple because you can always dress this up. Like I can put this blazer on, very ball main, very Kris Jenner, absolutely gorgeous. And it looks so professional, so elegant and classy. And it looks like I got money, which I love. That's why I love to wear black. I would still wear my Steve Madden loafers with this, just because it'll give it more of a casual feel if I'm just out doing random things. This is by far my favorite purchase I've made this year, this jacket. And I just wore it to Ikea and I feel so, so bougie in it. This is the Sherling Teddy jacket. I will link this in the description box. I love this, this is so soft. This looks so plush, this reminds me like of New York. It reminds me of like Remy Ma. It reminds me of like the boogie down. Am I Harlem shaking? It's just a Harlem shake. <laughs> I love the idea of wearing this with a vest. This is a knitted vest. I don't really button it up because it doesn't really do anything for me button up. I don't even think I've worn this. But I just love how this looks. I have another vest. I have like the suede Liz Claiborne that I can most definitely wear with this. I know y'all asking me to put it on. I'll put it on. This is very much giving like sleek cowgirl. Hold on. Giving cow girl like honey i wish i could ride like me look at this i live for this and then you can also use this black to layer your button ups this is a very neon green polka dot button up that i recently purchased that i thought would look good with some jeans and it just it just gives it another feel laid back way more casual you can always tie it and i love to tie my top because my all my assets is back here it's just a way to layer without really adding any heat or extra pounds not pounds but extra weight i guess that's the same thing as saying pounds but it's just not adding extra stuff to you to make you hot i could just keep going and going about my fall essentials i have a whole rack full of fall clothes. All right, we've come to the end of the video. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I want you to subscribe, leave a comment, go over to my Instagram, all of that will be linked down below. Let me know down below what are some of your fall essentials. But nonetheless, I just wanna thank everybody for watching and I want you to look down in the description box for any extra information that I have for you guys and leave me some comments of some video ideas, any collections, would you like to see my dress collection, my shoe collection, my purse collection, and anything like that. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.